Hello everyone, welcome back to Cantabria. Now, I apologise first of all for not having any episodes last week. It was just a really, really horrendous week. But today we're back to it, so I need to get that time back on five. We have got to get two devices today. First one is going to be something from this category. I don't really mind which one, so it doesn't have to be... It doesn't really have to be some super ridiculous thing. Uh, in fact, do I have the bio belts bucket installed? Just have a quick look. Uh, telehandlers. <clears throat> I do. So actually, a telehandler should be able to do this job. And that's a little bit cheaper. We've got that JCB one, nice class Scorpion. However, I am very, very fond of this Massey. Don't ask me why, I just am. So we're going to lease that guy. Uh, then we will lease the BioBelts bucket. And I'll tell you what we're actually going to do with all of this after. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And then we need to get ourselves a... Mini spreader. So, what have we got? I think we've got quite a lot of options, to be honest. Um, I don't think it needs to be that big. Oh, we've got these ones. I forgot about them. Uh, that monster. That's, <laughs> that's a bit big for what we want to do. <clears throat> these ones are very cool looking. But then again, so are the Rollins. What's the price difference? 31 you know what, I'm going to go with this one. So, capacity... Yeah, why not? Set up wide or standard, very standard. And yeah, we'll lease that. Okay, so that's what we need for today. Let's start off by getting this guy hooked up. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get field 5 turned around. So, we're going to get it... Uh, what's it called? We're going to get him... Um, spread with manure first. That was the word I was looking for. Manure. Uh, then... getting cultivated in. And then next time I'm going to plant him with hops. Okay, and I'm just thinking, how much have we got at the slaughterhouse? We've got, right, we've got quite a lot there, so actually I think, just need to change the steering mode. Yep. I think we should go to the slaughterhouse rather than going all the way um, back to the yard. The reason for that is that actually I'm going to need to be down that area anyway because once we've got the field sorted is he following? Yeah, it's good. Uh, once I've got the field sorted I'm going to be selling some silage and that's what this guy is for. Really, he's going to help me massively to sell silage. Should really get rid of that menu. It's difficult to see out the window with that menu up. So I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, there was a comment uh, two comments, in fact. One asking me if I could do more Cantabria, and I think it's a good idea because I'm, I'm kind of, I'm enjoying Cantabria more than Charwell at the moment, uh, probably because of the industry. So because I'm enjoying it more, I would like to do more episodes. I think so. I think I'm going to switch from two Charwell, one Cantabria to the other way around. Also, there was a question about getting a Deutz. I had a look. There are some very cool doits that I would like to get, but I just haven't done it yet. 
And yes, that's a new arrival on the farm. I should say that. That is because I just got really, really fed up of having to go back and forth with a small trailer to sell stuff. So let's just move him out of the way a little. Because I need to get this guy into a sensible place. I really wish Follow You wouldn't turn the engine off. It's quite annoying. Now, Unfold is just Unfold the back. That's not what I want. Okay. So I think in that case, just put the parking brake on. I don't know how much of this is actually going to be needed on the field. It could be a lot more than... Whoa, 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 whoa. It could be a lot more, it could be a lot less. Don't really know. But I do love having that capacity. Let me just change the work mode back though. Whoops. And I probably should grab a screenshot, so I'll do that on the second one, I think. There we go, look at that. This is the first time I have actually worked with manure in ages. It could even be the first time I've worked with manure in FS19. That may seem hard to believe, but it is completely possible. Right. So this time you're going to have to excuse me, because once I've picked up the manure, <coughs> I am going to be just disappearing for a moment to take a screenshot. Yeah. Right, screenshot. Okay, so I did take the screenshot, and I'm just waiting at the moment to get this emptied. Awesome. So, can probably turn that beacon light off. So, Let's just park him here. Gonna be back to do some silage after. And this guy is now going to magically reappear over in field five. And we'll see how quickly we get through this manure, I suppose. I will see you in a moment. Here we are then. So I am quite excited to be honest to see how good this is. I don't really know about the width, I guess, we'll just have to see. Ah, okay, that's a pretty good width. Oh, hang on. I have not adjusted the rate, so I almost always turn this down. 12, okay. Let's go with 12 then, I guess, that's the lowest. Now, this manure is also going to be used for the greenhouses once I get them. There are a great many industries that I want to use because there are just so many on this map. Um, unfortunately, I need to actually buy them. There is the problem as well that the desalinization plant cost a fortune and if we want fresh water without cheating and buying a water refill point, we need to buy that. Now, I do think probably in the best interest of the series for me to buy these places and use a water fill point until we can afford the desalinization plant. Because if we have to wait until we've got that, we're going to be waiting a very long time. Because it's, I think, it's either 500,000 or close to 500,000. That's a lot of money. I know that we've got quite a lot of money sat around in meat and things like that, but even still, 500,000 is a lot. Now, this 
is running out a lot faster than I thought it was going to, to be honest. So, hmm. may have to actually get the telehandler up to the pig yard. It's annoying. And I didn't really want to use loads and loads of manure. I thought this would be something a little bit different because I tend to always do slurry or fertilizer. So I thought this would be a nice thing to do, but yeah. Turns out you need a lot of manure. To anyone who uses manure a lot, you're probably saying, of course it does. But like I said, I don't. Right, great demand. What's that for? Great demand at bale cell 2. I guess it's for what I already had highlighted, which is bamboo. Hmm. I was actually debating planting bamboo, but I couldn't really work out what I was supposed to use it for. Um, yeah. I think I'll stick with my initial idea, which is to plant hops. Hops, I believe, we chaff. We make chaff out of them. Which can go directly into our um, silage thing of a bobby. The one in the yard over there. But I'll have to double check that. I'm pretty sure it takes grass, hay, or chaff. I think that's what's listed as the possible inputs. Would you look at this? We have done almost none of this field. Why, why am I. I've still got my beacon lights on. Yeah, we've done almost none of this field. Which is not good, because it means we're going to need a lot more, and I didn't really want to use all my manure. Hmm. So this has been 13,500 litres, and we are about to be out. There we go. So 13,500 litres covered how much exactly? That much. Oh dear. I really can't turn this down anymore. No. Hmm. Okay, right. Uh, I'll have to go to the pig yard then, and I'll have to get a telehandler and fill up again. So I'll get that sorted, and I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay, so I've got a second load. I'm, 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 I'm a little worried about running out, to be honest, because I really wanted some of this to be used for the uh, greenhouses, and it's summer at the moment, so I wasn't planning on giving the pigs any straw until the winter, so we're not going to get any more manure for a little while. Now, I could give them straw now because I think we've got a lot of digestate that I could use instead. On top of that, we're going to be selling more silage which means we're going to have even more digestate. Hmm. Let's see how far this second load gets us, I suppose. If it looks like we're still going to be a long way off. And maybe I will have to switch switch over to doing the rest of the field with digester instead. Which would mean doing it at a different time. Because I do want to get this guy on the cultivation. We could slurry the cultivated field though. That's a complete possibility. 
uh, especially as uh, unless I'm getting the series mixed up the cultivator we have actually can be used directly with a slurry spreader uh, but then it would make a bit of a mess actually because it would be trying to apply slurry on the bits we've just manured oh, this is actually a bit of a disaster Right, let me crack on with this and see how far we get the second load. Less than 10% left, and I haven't got much further, to be honest. So I'm thinking of calling it quits. Um, I would really like to keep the manure that I have. See, we'll run out again. Yeah, I'd really like to keep the manure I have to use for the greenhouses. So, it's really annoying. We will uh, have to do some slurry spreading next time. Oh, I'm so annoyed. Right. I'll get this guy returned. Um, because we're not going to need him again today. So, yeah, I'll get him returned. And... Um, get this guy cultivating. Just looking at his uh, <laughs> front wheel. Odd. Yep, yeah, okay. I I was about to go and return this, and I just realised something. If we look whoops, here, we can spread compost. And of course I can also use compost for the greenhouses. So I think actually I am going to continue and get this field done because we've got a lot of compost available or well, almost available and so we can use some manure now and use compost later I think that that actually solves our problem and that's the entire reason I think I even decided to make compost <laughs> so uh, I'm going to get the field done when it's finished I will come back to you okay so I've got a trailer full of silage here I'm going to take this down and get rid of it first. Of course, we all know it's uh, quite tricky reversing this guy into the sour point. But my two Bailey trailers are busy. I was actually planning on doing all of this silage selling with the Bailey trailers. But that looks like it's not going to be possible. But we're going to go down here. I just want to have a quick look, see how our compost is getting on. And of course our pigs as well, who have been breeding, so that's always a good thing. But all that straw there, which is not actually for the pigs, or it wasn't going to be. It could be. It just depends on whether we need all that compost. So our pigs, they're looking pretty clean, a little bit down there. I guess they need some food. And some water? No, they're okay. Food. They will need some. Uh, these guys are the. This is the big enclosure. They're okay as well. And what about the compost? Eighty-seven percent. Okay. And eighty-nine. Right. So possibly by the end of the episode, if not by next episode, we will have compost. And the question would be, where do we keep that compost? I don't know. Because <clears throat> like I said, we've got straw that we can put in there to replace what we've already composted. But where do we store the compost in the meantime? I'm unsure about that. Come on, these guys are so slow. And there we go. So yeah, we're going to go and sell this one. And then we can... start working on selling some more. Uh, the case is currently up at the farm. Slow, 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 slow. Uh, cultivating that field. So I got all the manure done, returned the manure spreader. We 
We need to buy a slurry spreader, definitely. Possibly a linear spreader as well. But we need a bit more money for that. Hopefully, all of that meat we've got there, uh, the dry ham and all that kind of stuff, hopefully all of this is going to help us massively. Um, to buy some new equipment, but also to buy some more industry. I would really, really like to get the greenhouses to start with. We've got other things as well that we should buy. Like, um, well, actually, once we've got the greenhouses, we can start to buy things like the um, salad factory. But we need to grow some stuff to make oil if we want to do that. So, tip him in. He's not going to sell it all before it goes in, but that's fine. Yeah. Let's just speed time up for a moment. Whoa, that was far too much. <laughs> right. I'll leave it at times 50, I think. Whoa, no, 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 no. That was the wrong way. I thought I was going forward. There we go. Uh, and what we're going to do is I have got this lovely, lovely set of... No fancy filling? <laughs> uh, whatever they're called. Um, conveyors. Now, I think they may have just turned off. That's probably what it is. There we go. Now he will start filling up. Ah, great. I'm hoping to get the pit finished today, if we can. So, we're going to actually go from the opposite end. And we're going to dump into the pit. Uh, not the pit, sorry. Whoa, that was a little bit crazy. Uh, we're going to dump straight into the processor. That's going to be the easiest way to do this. If I'd had another bucket, probably wouldn't have done it this way, because the other bucket would have filled up so quickly. Uh, trailer. Trailer, not bucket. Talking nonsense. There we go. And this this is going to be a nice, healthy bit of money. We know that silage is not worth that much. But how much is it worth at the moment? It is worth... Compost is worth 86, that's not bad. Um... Four fifty. Okay. So we've already put fifty nine thousand liters in there. Uh, I'm not going to try and do the maths. <coughs> and yeah, each one of these buckets is just under eight thousand. That maths I can do. That's uh, nine hundred, uh, eighteen hundred, thirty six hundred pound euros. So yeah, this is um, going to help the bank balance a lot. Plus, it's a good chance to use some different machinery. We've got a lot of money actually, just kind of sat around storing, you know, money in the pigs themselves. They're worth quite a lot. Uh, then we've got the the meat, the dried ham the um, ham, we've got more silage up at the yard, what else have we got? We've got quite a lot of money in the crop that we're going to collect, we just haven't actually collected it yet. That's going to be very good for us. 
So, yeah, we've got we've got a fair amount of assets actually. It's just a case of turning them into cash so that we can purchase things. It's great having all of these assets, but kind of need some cash flow at some point. This is uh, the way all businesses work. Right. So I'm going to go and check on how the uh, conveyors are doing. Don't want them running out of material and stopping. Because that is really a pain when it does that. But we could just shovel a bunch of stuff up towards it if it looks like it's running out. At the moment it's looking good. So we'll have a look in a minute. But there's not much left in that pit I don't think. I'll have to check in a second. We are making light work of it. Okay, so how much is actually in the pit? Ah, forty-four thousand. That's not bad. Clearing out quite a lot of it quite quickly. The truck is now full, so well, there's two and a half loads left. We will grab them in the buyer belts. Yeah, honestly, this bucket, as ridiculous as it is in terms of size, it is just so good. Who doesn't want to be able to pick up 8,000 litres of anything they want? And this mass is doing a pretty good job actually of taking it. I thought it might really, really struggle. But it seems to be doing a pretty good job. the last little bits and we can empty out the truck and that is us done. That is it then. The pit is clear. I'm just going to pop this into the processor and then we can go and put the truck. Well, we're not going to put the truck in the processor but we'll empty the truck into it. And this should keep our digestate levels going for a little while as well, as well as our bank account. He can just sit here. Not really needed. Ugh, really? I've got a tab to everything? What's he doing? No, oh, not too bad. There we go, that's the one I want. So, once again, get to pull the amazing reverse manoeuvre. Which you would think, with practice, I'd get better at. Gonna have to cut some grass to refill all of this silage at some point. But not just yet. It's only first stage harvestable, and I do want to wait until it's second, really. Oh, look at that. That actually was pretty smooth, <laughs> I have to say. How much can we empty? Not that much by the looks of it. Got room for the last bit now then, so tip that in. Hooray! So that is everything gone from the size pit down here. Still got a bit left up at the farm, of course. So, uh, this trailer does need to go back to the farm. I also need to return that telehandler as much as I really would love to keep it. I think we're going to need something like that for down here, but not just yet. What I can, can get rid of, though, is... Oh, really? I bought the belts. Interesting. 
I didn't know I'd bought one. Probably didn't need to. And <laughs> I suppose I could sell them. What we're going to do now, though, is... Do we have a trailer hitch? We do! Does that mean we can take this? Or does this need a drawbar? No, that one needs a drawbar. That's a shame. But we can take this guy. That is for sure. Because he is pretty much full. There's no reason to wait for him forever. So, strap him down. And, uh, yeah, where are we going? Lidl. Lidl is the best place. Okay, well, I like that. Because Lidl is just around the corner. Uh, it's down. Yeah, okay. So we need to come out of here. It's a tight turn. Look at that. This is going to be a bit of a bumper day. <coughs> Money wise. So, turning right, I think. Yeah, there we go. That's little. I think this is good as well because a trailer like this means we're not stacking up that tiny trailer so much. I think it's just going to make life a little bit easier. He says as he now realises he needs to reverse into that parking spot. Well, cell spot. You know. <laughs> I can do this in ETS. Just not in here. I do not know what it is. It's like, in ETS, I cannot stand being a third person, really. I just don't like doing it. Does, I don't find it makes reversing easier or anything like that. I find it just, it's annoying. Whereas here, in Farming Simulator, oh, it's, it's painful to reverse trucks. With or without. Oh, okay. What's going on there? I need to give them a little bit of a coaxing or something. Not too far forward. Okay, that's a little odd. Okay, so that was £94,500. That is a pretty good haul. So we'll take this guy back to the slaughterhouse. And then we're going to just fast forward. Well, then we're just going to fast forward until midnight. So I will see you at the biogas plant at midnight. Okay, so midnight is coming up now. How much have we made? Eighty-six thousand eight hundred twenty-eight. Wow, okay. So we're now back up at 250 plus a little bit of change. We are doing very well. So, Thank you very, very much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.